Hello everyone, I'm Mr. Mugglover, and thank you for rejoining me here in Old World Blues playing as... Question mark T. I was gonna say E.T., but it looks like we've removed the E. Anyways, hope you're all having a great day. Couple comments. For example, we've got 56,000 manpower. That's a lot of manpower up here. Someone recommended that I just make, like, maybe APC divisions for fun, or just make some infantry divisions for fun, because we have so much ungodly manpower. Maybe. We'll see what happens. I'm really hoping that we just use pure... Robots? Well, we have a couple guys here, too, but... For the most part, pure robots. A couple other one, a couple comments, like, such as, use anti-tank. There are no engineers in Old World Blues, even though as much as we would love to use them. Uh, yeah. And I think that's mostly it. There's another comment that there was from the last video, but I can't remember. I'll be honest, I can't remember. Okay. <laughs> Regardless, last time we did take out a couple places, like Imperial Mexicano, maybe Santa Ana. I can't remember, to be honest with you. But we did, did take out a good chunk of Nueva Atlan, in which I think it's time for us to go ahead and have a, uh, <clears throat> a little bit good time. So, Nueva Atlan's guaranteeing Costa, and they're guaranteed by Costa. Let's see what happens. I'm going to assume that they're going to attack us immediately, of course, like normal. And defense-wise, we seem to be doing uh, pretty darn well. Oh, look at that. Spec Ops not doing so well. Even though we do have minus like 10% defense or so, at least for the army, maybe it's for everyone in general, um, because of our land doctrine. It seems to be going pretty darn well. Oh, we need some more scrap metal, too. Oh, we need more factories. Ooh, buddy boy. But honestly, so far, this campaign, it's been much easier than I thought it would, to be honest with you. It's been a lot easier, actually than what I thought would thought this campaign would be like. I thought it'd be actually kind of difficult, since Moctezuma, he loves his flower wars, he loves going to war with other people. It's been surprisingly, relatively pretty easy for me, honestly. Like, like right now, it's a little ridiculous. Sure, I do have a few gliders, but they're not helping us eh, maybe a little bit. Yeah, they're helping us quite a bit, actually. So that's not too bad, but... Yeah, I was, I was hoping maybe for a little bit more of a challenge. But you know what? That's okay. We can always have campaigns where we... Just kind of sit back and enjoy them, you know? You don't want to have every campaign, or some campaigns, just to grind on and on and on. And that, when you just grind on and on and on, it I lose the enthusiasm for a campaign pretty quickly when that happens. So, I'm glad it's not like that. Anyways, uh, let's see. Season Patriotism sounds like fun. Expel Riffraff. Focus on the Eternal Sphere. Uh, we're pretty good. Over here, hmm, hmm. That doesn't really seem worth it. We could raise our conscription level, but, uh, I'm kind of good. And we can't do anything else for that, so... Hmm. We could use more electricity. What are we building? Planes? Or air bases, I mean. And some more military factories. That's pretty cool. And then some more of this as well. Not bad. Maybe we could throw on this instead? Perhaps? Because we could probably use a little bit more electricity. How many men have we lost? We've lost 45 versus 9,000. That's, that's, that's pretty good. Hunting the Great Beast. I mean, this is... I'm... I'm Okay, yeah, 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 keep it up, guys, keep it up. They only 4,000 as well. As I slowly, slowly, slowly get stronger and stronger. Honestly, Patrick Stewart, I'm going to comment on this again. You don't seem like you're really, um, just saying Aztec in terms of your name. Maybe I'm completely wrong. Maybe Patrick is the most Aztec name you've never heard of, but... I have to say no about that one, but that's okay. That's okay. We still love you, Patrick. We still love you. Well, some of us do. Uh, let's see. I mean, this is our division. It's 20 combat width. I don't think I can make them uh, 40. Let's see. Thick. I like thick a little bit. Let's see what we can do. Oh, we have no army XP. Well, that's why I'm keeping you guys here. And please grind out some more army XP. Man, they killed themselves so well, down put them at to peace. We might not be able to break through, but hey, maybe we will. I mean, that is sad. I'll be honest. I mean, sure, if they don't have half the country under them. Sure, I get it. They had 12,000 extra manpower. 12,000, you know. Eh, but you know what? I've only lost 58. Robots, when you know how to use them, especially with planes, I mean, my goodness, robots are can be very delicious. Yes, yum, 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 yum. But probably the next thing we're going to do is put some maintenance companies on these guys. That would probably be El Besto. Friend Besto. Ooh. Oh, we are oh we are out of ro combat robots. That's not good. Hmm. That's okay, though. I'll fix it up. And are, actually, are we using... Yes, we are. Cool. Sorry, sometimes... When you play so many campaigns at a time, you forget what you're doing sometimes. You forget what you've done. 
And you always have to double check on yourself. And actually, do you have... We have a little bit more equipment. As we got these cool, New Victoria, Broken Coast. Go, keep going there, my friends. Keep going. Uh, it's not there yet. You guys should be okay. There's riders. There you go. Yeah, that's definitely good. Let's get some more research going, my friends. Yeah, why not? I like hardness. Um, we could core more stuff around here, probably. On oh my goodness. Oh, 50. Holy. Uh, we can core this one first. Like, we needed 3,000 more manpower, but hey, we got more water, maybe some more scrap, maybe some more factories. The fall of Xochicalco, an unforeseen catastrophe. Honestly, with all this extra manpower and... I mean, we got a lot of babies. We got a lot of guys here. Alright, so where y'all at? Y'all over here, and you guys need to finish this up. Go ahead and hold, don't do that. You guys are over here. Hang out, have a good time, suck in some sun rays, even though you are mostly, mostly, all robots, so you probably don't need more sunshine. Could be wrong about that, you know, could be wrong. Let's see, plane-wise, yeah, we're, we're fish planes, nice. And we're building up some more, uh, roads? Cool, thumbs up for me, man. Thumbs up for me. Build this area up. This is probably the most important area for us to build up. We got some recon, too. Man, our research is so good, man. So good. Uh, at this point, it really doesn't matter, just build. Actually, do we even need to core this area? I mean, we have everything claimed, probably, for the most part. Ooh, I guess that. that's fine. Yeah, we probably have most things claimed if we... Oh, oh, you're already done. If we can become Mexico, so... Should do okay. Go ahead, go ahead. They don't want to defend their area, and they have lost 19,000. They're almost dead. They have a single division in the north. Oh, yeah, Mr. Krabs. 500 political power. What do, what do I do with 500 political power? Well, I can't do it with political power, but I can buy more slaves. And that makes me happy. Uh, yeah. Ask him to help settlements make more babies? I mean, this is one of the few campaigns where I can say, I don't need more manpower. I literally have not even touched my, my uh, conscription law. This is weird. Moctezuma is not that difficult, and I love it. Ah, Nueva Atlan. Thank you so very much. You know what? We might have... a few, just a few minor resistance problems down here, just because we, never mind, we have enough infantry equipment, I was just hoping that we would have enough, but I was kind of scared that we wouldn't. Ooh, let's do this. So, sacrifice the Aztlan leader. The Aztlan are no more, and we are one of the leading powers of Mexico. Let us demonstrate. Hey, we get a free core. I love free cores. Wow, we get that 10 days ahead of time, just because we already had stuff done. I love it. Alright, let's see what we can do about these guys. You know, let them come over the river. Or not. I guess I just wanted them to come over so we can beat them up some more, more easily. But, whatever. Go ahead, do whatever you need. Eh, yeah, let them come in, you know, whatever. Zero. They have up to 69 divisions. Nice. But 91 divisions, actually. If I can read correctly. Maybe. We'll see what happens. Survivalist, like, giver. I like that. Uh, can they pierce us? That is a big no. Huh. I thought by 2279 they'd be able to pierce us, but so far, no, which is good. Uh, over here they might be able to... No, I was wrong again. What is going on? And their casualties must be skyrocketing. Well, yeah, they sort of are. Sort of. And now we get way less political power, but we still get 1.23 days. That's pretty good. Oh, that was some major lag. Ah, Kaiser's Legion. And, oh my goodness, we just jumped up by 11,000 more manpower. Oh yeah, Mr. Krabs. The Brothers War, though. So, with the Aztlan defeated, it is time to consider the nations who could rival the Mexica's greatestness. Or the greatness. The other sons of Tlaloc. And, oh wait, hold on. We get a... Mm, did we not have core on it already? Uh, yeah, we have core on it, I think. Precision Motors? That sounds like a car company. I know it's General Motors, but... Precision Motors sound like a competitor to General Motors. I'm just saying, man. I don't work for GM. i like to get paid if I worked at GM. But I don't. That's okay. For now. Uh, let's see. Cool. Very nice. Very nice. How about... I love the doggos. Yeah, once we get more robots and more army XP, we, we already have 19, but I'm going to spell it up. Well, actually, we have a good amount right there. We, If I put... Hmm, oh, we want maintenance companies, probably. It does raise this. It does lower our armor by just a small amount, but that'll help us with reliability, and that's incredibly helpful. We might... Well, we're gonna lower our armor. I'll be honest. I can't speak right now, apparently. 
But we're going to lower our armor so we can put on logistics. Because right now, logistics, uh, they're not looking good. But we killed off 2,000. That's not bad. They still have more manpower, though. Yeah, that's not looking good. Can they pierce us? Sort of. Which is not good now. But I have a good feeling. A very, very good feeling that uh, soon enough, they might be actually raising the conscription level a little bit because it's, it's going up just slightly in some places. But overall, it's still going down. Hmm, technology? You know what? Sure, why not? Well, sure, why not? Supports the rabble. Five slaves ran away. Chenta del Sol. At the time of this recording, you're going to get an update eventually, or the next update. They're going to, Chenta del Sol is going to get an update to their uh, country, Boca Street, I believe. Don't quote me on that. I believe they are. I could be wrong about that. I don't think I am, though. Eventually, they're going to get an update and change a few things around, especially with their interaction with the Legion, which sounds like a lot of fun. And I, sorry, I just, I wish I could speak tonight or for this episode. Death to the False Emperor. Good. I already killed everyone here. Ha <laughs> I love it. The land of the Fifth Sun. So the children of Tlaloc has been brought to heal. The Triple Alliance has been restored. It is now time to restore the Empire's rule to the four quarters of the Earth. We get free cores. I wasted time recording stuff, and we become known as, not E.T., but Tlal. Tick Pakli. I do not speak Aztec. I apologize. Ah, four thousand, almost roughly five thousand sons and girls, sons and girls, boys and girls. Ah, oh, look at that. Mm. Come on, come on. And the big round number with two curves. Is it two curves? No, yeah. zero. And now they shall perish because they got no more guys, no more dudes to help them out. We've lost a lot of guys. We've lost a little less than 300. That is, as some would say, a shameful display. But you know what? With an extra 82,000 in reserve, I'm not too worried about it. All right, it's slave time. Why not? If you can, why wouldn't you buy slaves? Over here, let's go ahead and raise this up. Military Academy training. You know what? Screw it. We're going to go slavers of the waste. It hurts our stability by quite a bit, which I don't like. But... We might as well, right? 55% you know, stability, whatever. Land of the Fifth Sun. And now to unite the Fifth Sun, for the Empire was a world, and the world was the Empire. Oh, yeah, Mr. T. Hmm, we could use quite a few more robots, actually. Do that. There you go. Give me more monoplanes. I have not even used that many monoplane attackers. Oh, we're monoplane fighters. Definitely weird music, but that's okay. Um, there you go. A few more military factories. Only 147, yet we're doing pretty darn well. Ah, uh, don't tell me. I'm gonna turn you around. Don't make me start. Stop this car. All right, go right ahead. See what you can do. We might be out of robots, but they're out of lives, which is always good. Yeah, it's gonna take a while actually to do. Ah, uh, that is disappointing. But yeah, we're really out of robots, which really sucks. Let's go ahead and throw some planes down here, because we could probably actually use those. There we go. They'll be both soon enough. Um, we've killed... No they have been raising the conscription level, the Fall of Flagstaff. Very good. Looks like Vulpus' Legion might be winning. They're still out of manpower. Good. Recon. Nice. Healing powder, even though we honestly probably don't need it. Guardia. You know what? If I'm going to use you guys for now... Oh. Oh, I just used my army XP to research stuff. That's right. Cool. Then whatever. Kill them off. Hey, we actually broke through. Nice. I mean, how many more casualties do you want to take, man? Do you net the fifth sun? Very good. Free claims, hopefully. And now we shall do... You know, we can do construction engineering. Recruitable population. You know what? Let's actually use robot production. I've never used that one. And they died. Good. Good, good, good. This is probably a big old waste of production, but that's okay. Alright, so if that's the case, let's go ahead and use whatever we have, and justify on other people. 65 days, not bad. I'm not going to put you on the line, because supply here is just garbage right now. Surprised you're able to hold out this well when they have literally no spare manpower to speak of. But whatever. You guys hang out there. Multi-deck construction, which I probably won't even use. Very cool. I mean, you guys can keep trying to stop me, but, I mean, if you want population control, I mean, this is the way to do it, I guess. 
Hey, we actually broke over. There you go. And do we do have a couple planes down here? Very nice. Planes have been taking quite a few hits, but you know what? If we got a couple monoplane attackers to help us out, which not, not, not many, but you know, a few, that's a good thing I welcome. You always gotta have some sort of air power. Always. And because you guys gave me such a hard time here, I am probably going to make sure that you all die. Cool, 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 Guardia. Now, we gotta make you a little bit better than that. There you go. A little bit more strength, a few more guns, a few more people to help you out. And I'm sorry this is taking a while, just it is what it is. It's still pretty easy. Oh, look at this. Vulpus is legion. Congratulations with no <laughs> manpower. Okay, you got three to four thousand. That's not bad. Vulpus, good job. Not He's a cruel tyrant. All right. SPQ. What? Oh, man. I don't like SPQR, to be honest with you, but that's the way Vulpus does it. More consumer goods, more stability, more worth support. You know, it is what it is. And more empire sounds like a lot more fun. 40% non-core manpower is nice, but nah. This one's nice. New thesis, more population. I like that. And technocracy, that's not bad. Cool. Logistics, we'll need those eventually. Throw that on, because we're going to need them right now anyways. If you could break down south, just, just by one. Yeah, I'd be surprised if they compare to you. Yeah, good. Cut them off down here. All these guys are going to die. Easily. Easily. Yeah, they're fighting the last man. And honestly, if I was them, I'd probably do the same thing, because... Uh, they would have to. They would really need to. Cool. Oh, very good, very good. Come on. Come on. Alright, throw them over here. There you go. A couple more divisions. Oh, postcode modifications. Thank you very much. Let's go ahead and throw on the robos. I'm going to explore those guys in a little bit. You got maintenance companies. Guardia. You're only 18 combat with, which is not ideal. Throw that on there. Just in case. And actually, ooh, nice. Ah, they're dying like flies. Dying like flies. They're falling. Dropping like flies. I can't speak. I'm sorry. Go and throw one more on. There you go. You're stronger now. Go step on this. Nope. You gotta wait for that one. Texas Arms Association. Nope. Uh, 105 is not bad. It's in a little cartel. There we go. 55 days. How long would this take? 35. Oh. That's a bit too long. That's actually Texas. 155. We can wait. Cool. Oh, look at these guys. Oh. Lag, lag, lag. Uh, you know what? You all deserve this. You all deserve to die. 22,000 is not enough. I'm going to come into these villages and make sure you don't have a good time. Uh, to put it lightly. I'm going to come back for Chichen It's actually if he can. Just because, well, I need a bigger army. And I'm running out of robots. So we'll take out some smaller people first. Always bully your neighbors if you can afford it. That's what I've learned in Hearts of Iron 4. And Total War Games. If you can bully your neighbors, why not attack them? Ah, good. They're almost done. And... Come on. Give them a little squeeze. A little more squeezy squeeze. Oh, come on. I thought they were done. Oh, my goodness. We've got to get all the way down there. Chichin... Oh, Chichin Itza. I see what you're doing. You're playing the game. All right. So, we got to really spend some time building up these factories then. 15 is pretty nice. This will come in very nicely as well. Oh, good. We're building up. And we're going to with one more. And we'll throw up some more right there. Very good. Scorp oh, wait, the Ghosts. Ah, oh, yes, the Ghost Auxiliary Legion. Kaisar's Legion, right? Oh, you're actually the remnants of Kaisar's Legion, but even though Vulpus won. Interesting. Troll Warren are fighting... Oh. Master's New Army? Hello there. Troll Warren is beating up the Western Brotherhood. So that is... That's a little unique, finally. Alright, so now we're going to make sure we burn down everything they own and... Not even enslave them. Anyways, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't, don't, don't worry about what I just said. Chichin Itza Las Granjas. You are next. Well, at least it gave our guys some army XP, which is nice. Cool. Let you guys get on up north. We got time to kill for now. Beloved leader. Uh, I don't even... I don't want that. I really don't want that. I really, really don't want that. Tank? Yes. Heavyweight. But I might choose it eventually anyways. Cool. Give us a little bit of time. Oh, nice. 
Okay, that's not good. Just a little bit more time. Level 6. Almost level 7. Jesus. Logistics 1. Yeah, we could probably use that. Level 10. Guardia. Mm. You know what? How much? They get 0 recon. If I do this, they get 3 recon. It lowers their armor even more. It's probably a bad idea. That's okay, though. Before we do anything else... Uh, planes, please. Thank you. Uh, please. Thank you. Alright, so we can go to war with these guys if we really want to right now. Actually, do they have any border with us besides this? No? Alright, well, let's see what happens. Maybe they'll attack us. Kings of the Road? No, they're not attacking me. That's a little disappointing, but you know what? Go ahead and move on in. Go ahead. See what we can do. I'd love to core that, but... Energy-wise... Yeah, we're looking pretty good. Maintenance. Nice. Very nice. It's a little bit ahead of time. Dynamite. Rocket launchers. Sauce. So why not? We can get some saws. Oh, slaves? It's slave time! <laughs> nice. I could do flower war. It doesn't matter, though, anymore about flower wars. I mean, I'm just rolling on in and going, bye bye. You have a new ruler here. Kings of the Road. Oh, they're. F How do they have so few divisions? I swear. Sometimes Mexico's really weird. Like, early on in this campaign, Zapata had few divisions. Sinaloa, the Cartel de Sinaloa in 2280 does have a, has like five divisions. Sometimes, sometimes things get weird, and the Troll Warren is doing very well. <clears throat> wow, wow. All right, so which one's better, Schooner? This one has a higher cost, so I like that one more. Um, right, Schooners or River Barges? River Barges, Schooners. River barges are better. Can you get combat barge yet? No. You might as well just use the river barge. So, river barge, eh? I don't believe in these things. Um, medium. Sure, why not? Oh, nice. Nice. It does hurt our reliability, but whatever. Word of mouth. I don't think any of these can get upgraded because I didn't really do anything with these. But, hey, Seagull Scouts. Nice. Yeah, definitely grab some of that. Good enough for me. Good. Oh, is that too much? Well, make a crap ton of them then. Cool. These guys are just moving on in. Can you guys win actually up here? You might be able to. You might not. Well, actually, you might not. Give us just a little bit of time. Split you guys in half. See what you can do about that. And we're gonna wait for this other army so we can just. There's other holes we gotta address here. There we go. Hey, radio detection, nice. Um, I really don't care too much about this, so you're gonna come slip in that way, and then you guys are gonna slip in through here. Make sure we don't get cut off, and slip in that way. Very nice. I should actually focus on the other parts of the tree as well, of our uh, research branches. There you go. Do we need more planes? We might need more planes, maybe. Let's see. Do we have any spare planes? Yes. A few monoplane attackers or fighters. Good. Good. Good, good, good. Everyone needs at least a few plane boys. Cool. Let's go ahead and take these guys out. Very nice. A couple of logistics thing in my bobbers. There we go. We'll get them done eventually. Now, I can't win right there. They're moving in, but I don't really care. Really, all that much. I'll have you guys come back this way. Oh, eight. Well, they're gonna die. Beautiful. You only need one guy to go that way. We've been surrounded. Quite literally surrounded. Ah, that's a smart, smart decision. You move that way. You guys go wherever you feel like. And then you guys come over here so I can ignore everything else and do that for our infantry. Uh, hey, these guys have quite a few divisions. Alright, alright, whatever. Whatever. Still gotta go with Genta, but this one's taking like Ah, four days left, that's not bad. Ooh, a couple more divisions. Ah, there you go. Let's see, Genta del Sol. Mr. Smoky Smiley Face. Generalissimo. How many men have we lost? We've lost actually a thousand, that's actually quite a bit. That's actually. Oh, oh, I see why. We lost a couple of robot divisions. Ah, oh, they got encircled and destroyed, that's why. Now, that's my fault. That's completely my fault. My bad. I completely underestimated the, uh, underestimated the enemy, and I regret doing that. So, overconfidence, 
can lead to bad things. But still, this campaign, still not bad. Go ahead, wrap them up and around. We've lost, actually, that's not, we lost like 12 divisions. We only lost 1.2 thousand. Oh, Mojave kept his in. Cool. Dry ream, very nice. If that's the case, we're, we're wrap, ramping up production. I tell you what, a lot of planes, a lot of robotos. Build, build. You know what? You killed all those robots, but what did you get out of it? You got nothing. You got nothing, son. Very nice. Take him out, take him out. That just gives us more time to build even more robots. Uh, we're going to focus this side first, even though the other side might get taken out. I'm telling you, I'm not really paying attention too closely to where everything goes. Nice. Very nice. You know what, I'm going to put you on high. Reinforcements, we don't believe in those. We just need more robots. Let's see, boot saws. Maybe eventually. We need more scrap. That's not good. Just help out with everything, why not? Slaves? How many slaves have we got? 660. Never enough. Alright, so these guys are going to all get cut off very quickly. Are you guys all up here? No, not yet. Well, why aren't you moving up there? How many divisions do these guys have? Develop the outer city. Oh, 2,000. That's not bad. Did I not give you orders? Oh, whoops. Let them try to attack us. They're not going to do that well. I mean, maybe over here a little bit, but honestly... And they died. It's beautiful. We wanted to come through here quickly, if possible, just so that we could cut them off. But we'll see what happens. Nice. And we still have no air bases around here, so... Which really sucks. Really, really, really sucks. Eh, yeah, Logistics 3. Nice. You know what? Grab that one. I know I need to focus more on my industry, but I don't really care. Uh, it really... It would help, honestly, but whatever. Uh, get more money. I love money. Cool. Excuse me, sir. I'd rather not get encircled. Thank you. Thank you for playing. Oh, no, go that way. There you go. I'll take him out. Um, I know there's only four of you guys, but... Uh, please go right ahead. Okay. Why don't you go? Please. Please. Come on. Alright, so you're done. So y'all come up this way. Please move. I, I, I don't understand. Please. Go. That away. Alright, y'all are stupid. Y'all just plain stupid. What the heck? Briggs, cool. Like, what do we have to do to tell you to go? And Gentle City's ours. Cool. Head straight for there, because we're going to go straight for a capital next. Platoon training, nice. That's good. Alright, you guys are really stupid, aren't you? You're taking forever to move correctly. Yeah, you, they're supposed to be robots. They're supposed to be smart, but you know, I wouldn't say they're that smart. Just saying, man. Harmosio. Come on. Come on. God dang, what is the White Legs doing? God dang, they're thick. Alright, so these guys finally have sent, or went bye-bye. Gold, gold, gold. Nice. Rancher shouldn't be too bad. Even though we might have to fight the Vulpus later on if he wants these areas. Oh, uh, here's a good place. No, it's not a good place. Here's a good place, there you go. Come on. Right there. Cool. Anyone have upgrades? Yes, Patrick. He's a savage. You know, I, I wish I could do this for him. I wish I could, but he's not a commanding officer. 
Uh, here we go. More ninja. Uh, are you guys ready yet? Like, come on. What am I paying you for? Just blow him immediately, it's fine. North Gubertine Raid and Chichen It's a Demand's Territory. Well, I guess we have to go down south now. How disappointing. You guys guard the middle of the line. You guys calm down here ish. I'm gonna have the south probably taken out quite a bit. You know what? We'll end our episode here because tomorrow we will be all set up and ready to go when we go to war with Chichen Itza. But regardless, hope you enjoyed today's episode and must even though I made a few mistakes here about losing a few guys. Uh, if you did like the video, consider leaving a like, subscribe if you're new, of course. Check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you all tomorrow when we will take out the rest of Southern Mexico, Central America, and push up north. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.